So, hi everyone, welcome to this week's shenanigans. Um, last week, what we do? Uh, I had a bad week. My sleep schedule got completely destroyed, hormonal, and my lip is ripped wide open. You can all see the busted lip. Uh, I fell, <laughs> which is why I've been trying to conceal it for multiple days. Anyway, uh, we have Fallout Equestria, and we are about to, and this week, this week in Fallout Equestria, we're about to jump into a Mirelurk fight with a Mirelurk queen, and we have, and we're on a gunship. Up like Allahu Akbar. All I was going to say, to MT's point, would be that if the party had to get insurance, the premiums would just be a pint of blood. Cheap enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I can see it now. They have a notification in the insurance office. So if you see this pony, make sure that you give her the highest premium rates possible because she is dangerous to anything, and we can't afford to be backing her up all the time like that. Her insurance premiums would be the equivalent of just buying a new car every month. Pretty much. Because that's exactly what we're going to be doing like this. I mean, if the vehicles was more plentiful, this group would be, like, blowing up cars and trucks like uh, the A-Team. Wait, what is... What are you all doing? It's gonna be a fun time. Uh, the group in the Here There Be Dragons campaign had a crazy, crazy time. Let me turn all this on. As they were uh, trying to convince the big bad evil who wants to annihilate their race for the things that for reasons they don't quite understand. And they fought owls. Like, actual, honest-to-God, slender men of the universe showed up, and they fought them, and it is not going well. Uh, they're trying, still trying to escape the facility and find their weapons and find their missing crewmate. Over on Pokemon, however, something you missed today. We hatched a bunch of eggs in black. We got through a gym. We got through another major plot battle with N. Uh, that's literally his name, N. And we got to the next city where the next gym is. Then we did something truly unique. And Ginger is bringing it up on screen now. What you're seeing on screen is all of the champion Pokemon. from Starting from April last year to today. Finally on Pokemon Home. To celebrate this momentous occasion. The next screen, I know you can't see it very well because I'm literally pointing camera at a phone because I didn't have it hooked up at the time because I was just trying to get everything sorted because I had my 3DS here and my Switch here and my phone in my hand and I had to use all three devices to get it to work. But um, I also took a bunch of Pokemon from Pokemon Go. So I will list them off. Uh, a Pikachu, a Dialga, an Articuno, a Moltres, a Shedinja, a Shiny Staraptor, a Shiny Hisuian Braviary... A uh, Durant, a shiny Ostagoon, and another legendary. I, I don't know all of them off the top of my head, and that last one is really hard to see. But I put them into Wonder Trade, which is what I actually want to talk about with you. We have four Pokemon streams total this week. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Ideally, if everything, if my sleep schedule works out and everything goes back to normal, four streams. At the start of that stream, I will be taking Pokemon from Pokemon Go, and I will make sure there are Shinies and Legendaries, because you can see the majority of this is Shiny or Legendary. There's like two that aren't. I will be putting all of those Shinies and Legendaries into Wonder Trade. Ten Wonder Trades. And just throwing them out there. And from now on, at the end of the stream... For those Pokemon streams, we will stop and see what we got. Which also means I have to go back to doing a lot more Pokemon Go in order to catch all of those. To make sure I have enough to keep funneling into the grinder, so to speak. But what I have for you today is that first post-stream opening, because we didn't do it on stream. So here we go. All right, we got a snuffle from China. And it was exchanged for our Shedinja. Right, let's hit the next one. It's loading. 
That's what the symbol up there means. So we're going to go through, we're going to open all of these, and then from now on at the end of every stream, we're going to do this. Also on Wednesday, we have Fallout Equestria. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I think we should take the Vertibuck. We go take care of the Myler Queen. Probably not using the Vertibuck itself to take her out. Going to make that clear. All right. You understand? You got me so far, right? Mm. We're going to fly the Vertibuck over. We are going to land it at a safe distance from the place. We are going to kill, get out, and go and kill the Myler Alert Queen. We are going to come back and then get back in the thing. And then we'll go fly off to the train station. You, you have high caliber ordnance on this thing. Okay, do you trust us with this? Oh, no, wow. which is the reason why Landings is flying the thing. But if you look at him and go, hey, we want to shoot a shellfish, he's going to spit out whatever thing he'd been chewing in his mouth, <laughs> let out a rebel whoop, and then run for his fucking car. Uh, and then on Sunday, we have Here There Be Dragons. On Saturday, we have our usual multiplayer game fest. But we're going to receive these one at a time and just see what's in them. I see Pokeballs here. I don't even know what they are. Like, the ball itself is a mystery to me. Let's see. Uh, there's probably nothing. Can't see. Okay. Uh, from Japan, because that is Katakana. Traded for the Pikachu. All right, now let's get into the fun ones. What did we get for our legendary? Our first one, our Dialga. Because I remember the slots they were in. We got a rock ruff. It's like an English rock ruff, so cool. But this is what we'd be doing at the end of a level one a rock ruff fresh out of an egg. Absolutely fresh out of an egg. That person is going to be like, what? I'm going to be like, yeah, I just throw a legendary at you from Go. Uh, I think that's a French bronzor? That person... So the person on the other end of this is getting an Articuno. And it's going to be like, wait. Hold on. This makes me feel good. I'm giving people something fantastic for basically nothing. And I'm taking all the... It makes me... Bulbasaur. Okay. That person got a Moltres for a Bulbasaur. They're going to flip out. See, and now I know, I don't know who is on the other end of these. I never will know, apparently. I got a Noir Bat. I don't even like Noir Bat. What did I send them? A shiny Staraptor. And see, this is the kind of thing I want to do. I want to be able to give people a stroke. So when they open their other end of the Wonder Trades, they're going to be like, what is that? It's a sand true for a Hisuian Braviary. Right, Pokeball I don't recognize. I I'm assuming there's nothing. I'm assuming I got nothing. That is a Japanese Taurus? That's neat. That, that looked weird. All right, next one. Uh, I have no idea. A full baby, I guess. Okay, cool. You got a shiny Ostagoon. Last one. And then we'll see what we actually got. And I'm probably going to end up keeping none of them. Unless somebody speaks up and says they want it tomorrow. That is the Taiwanese. You know, for a Durant. Okay, so the last one, not all impressive. But yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing. Every time we do a Pokemon stream from now on, the start of the stream, I'm going to put 10 things in Wonder Trade. End of the stream, we'll find out what, what we got in exchange. And I'm expecting to never get anything. And it's going to be me sitting here being the super beneficial one going, here's a bunch of legendaries. Here's a bunch of shinies. Have it. Not my place to care. That Tauros looks really weird. And I can't quite put my... It's Okay, so I can now go over these. Precisely. So we got it. Alright, so... 
CHT, that's China, that, that's Taiwan. Told you it was Taiwanese. Uh, we got a C dot from Taiwan. We got a Flabebe from somewhere that speaks English. We got a Tauros from Japan. Again, it looks really weird. Almost like it's coated in metal. We got a an English Shansru from uh, Brilliant Diamond. We got a Noir Bat from Go. We got a Bulbasaur from Sword. We got a bronze French Bronzor, called it French Bronzor from Go. Uh, we got an English Rock Ruff from. I have no idea what that symbol is. We got a Japanese Chansey from Go. And we got a, another Taiwanese uh, Snuffle from Go. Where is okay? I got that today too. Where is the? I'm curious. Okay, that's the shiny indicator. So they're not shiny. They're just really weird. It's just really weird. I don't know what that is. I know it's from Shield, but I don't know why it looks that way. Anyway, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, I will see you guys for those days. Uh, last week we did have some Pokemon. We got one new badge and then got our butts handed to us and i lost four pokemon in a day one hour period four deaths um but that's everything i'll see you all tomorrow for pokemon and we will again be giving you guys the opportunity as well as anyone else in the world a chance at some pretty rare and shiny Pokemon only because I can. Um, because I honestly need to cut down the number of Pokemon I have in my uh, Go box. So I hope you all enjoyed this little uh, forte, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everyone.